CFI, Contract Freighters Incorporated, presents five years of racing the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. When Zebulon Montgomery Pike discovered the mountain that bears his name, he said the summit would never be scaled. But in 1916, we started racing machines up to the 14,110-foot summit, which rises above the Continental Divide. Proud, majestic, dangerous, and yet beautiful. And for 79 years, man has tested his equipment and his courage in this historic event that is also known as the Race to the Clouds. For five years, CFI has raced to the clouds in a Kenworth CFI T2000. CFI is North America's premier international truckload carrier. Based in Joplin, Missouri, CFI is a major Kenworth fleet operator with over 2,000 Kenworth trucks. And for five years, CFI has used the Red Racer as a rolling laboratory where research and development is conducted on new products to improve the safety and maintenance of CFI's fleet and to help maintain its leadership position in the trucking industry. Now, it is important to understand how the course is laid out. It starts at 9,390 feet above sea level and winds its way up the mountain through 156 turns, a total of 12.42 miles, and you finish at 14,110 feet. That's an elevation gain of 4,708 feet, and the average grade is 7%. And the Red Racer will hit a top speed of 90 miles per hour. Now, CFI entered the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb for the first time back in 1997 with Chairman and CEO Glenn Brown behind the wheel of the original Red Racer, the world's only twin-engine turbo diesel racing show truck. Now, this production-based T2000 with a 270-inch wheelbase carrying 26,000 pounds of sheer truck was a huge hit with the fans as they watched the Red Racer roar up Pikes Peak in a time of 16 minutes, 0 .20 seconds. They especially loved it when Glenn got it loose at Glen Cove. Never had anything like this been seen on the peak. In 1999, the third year of CFI racing, and once again, Glenn Brown is back, but this time the chairman is driving the Red Racer Peak Performer. It's a modified Kenworth T2000 day cab design, single Cummins engine, 10,000 pounds lighter, 100 inches shorter, and Glenn shaves almost 46 seconds off his previous time as he reaches the summit in a mark of 15 minutes, 14.29 seconds. Then in 2000, a new century and a new driver. Glenn Brown turns over the driving duties to Bruce Canapa of Canapa Design in Santa Cruz, California. Not only an accomplished racer himself with a third place finish in the 24 hours of Daytona, plus success in NASCAR sportsman and modified divisions, also sports car racing's old IMSA GT series, Bruce also enjoys an international reputation as one of the finest and most versatile vehicle designers in the world. From motorcycles to performance cars to semi-trucks and trailers, there is no facet of the road machine industry that Bruce Canapa has not touched. And in his first year on the peak, Canapa drove the Kenworth T2000 to another record-setting victory. 14 minutes, 34.31 seconds in the tandem axle division for Class A trucks. So in four years, the CFI team had shaved one minute and 26 seconds off the tandem axle record. And the next magic number, well, that would be 14 minutes. And it would be surprising that it would only take one year for that mark to fall. Bruce Canepa back with a totally re-engineered Kenworth CFI T2000 Red Racer Peak Performer. He shaved over half a minute off of the record, getting to the peak in 13 minutes, 59.96 seconds. The only big rig to make it to the summit in 2001. Why was the Red Racer so quick? Mike Gilbert, Kenworth's team leader and assistant chief engineer, attributes it to solid engineering. He says the team was dedicated to learning and building on what they had done the previous year, especially in the areas of weight, horsepower, and traction. The 2001 CFI Kenworth T2000 was trimmed down 1,000 pounds, gained an extra 300 horsepower out of the 1,200 horsepower CAT C16 engine, switched to the ZF Ecomat automatic transmission, modified to racing specs, and then got great traction out of the Bridgestone tires on the ever-changing surface of the peak. 
Gilbert also says the other Kenworth supplier's involvement was critical in the 2001 run, including Bendix, DuPont, Eaton, Dana Spicer, Alcoa, Horton, Camphill Farr, Arvin Rye Control, CF Conmet, and ZF Meridor. Not only did the suppliers contribute components, but they also gave of their own time, effort, and expertise. The record-setting time could not have been achieved without this outstanding support. The partnership between CFI and Kenworth has been nothing short of outstanding. The best truck and the best over-the-road trucking firm hauling the goods not only across the nation, but to the summit of Pikes Peak.